I do not understand what to say or how to begin the discussion, is a common response when asked to speak what is on their mind when speaking to somebody who is ill or has a lethal disease. It's awkward because you do not want to make someone feel uneasy or anxious. You wish to make them feel at ease so you can be familiar with them much better. Where do we find our voice, for instance? I consider myself lucky to have found my voice early in my career. I chose that I desired to be a star, so I took a part-time task as a waitress at a Japanese dining establishment. This is the voice I want to speak, I believed as I took it all in. What is the significance of our voice? When we recognize our own voice, we recognize ourselves. You can inquire about your voice by asking yourself the following questions. Do you have a little or big voice? Do you have a stronger English voice than a Spanish voice? How do we discover our voice? How can we discover our voice if we don't understand what it is? Buddhist teachings on speaking and listening are incredibly informing, and they invite us to stop evaluating ourselves based on what we believe others wish to hear or are trying to find. In Buddhism, you are not anticipated to state what you think others wish to hear. The Rinzai Canon has plenty of teachings about having and not stating things, such as these. When we ask individuals what they are thinking or feeling, there is a danger that we will reveal a thought or sensation that they are trying to hide or the way they want to appear. When you ask somebody what they are believing or feeling, they end up being uneasy. How do we utilize our voices? The first thing to understand is that our voices are a present. You have a voice to express what you can't express otherwise. I asked individuals to inform me what they consider when they believe of someone who is sick. It could be a friendly tip, a compliment, an idea, or a kind word. I asked people to tell me about a meal they had shown a loved one or a stranger, and how they perceived it as a holy present. I asked as to how they were able to have a voice and speak from the heart. I asked people to inform me about times when they felt like they had a powerful voice. I was curious to see if they actively used their voice or if they relied on others to speak for them. I was curious to see if they count on others to promote them when speaking to another person. Conclusion The best partners and friends are those who listen first and after that speak about your ideas. It is an expression of compassion to be open up to hearing what is on their mind. And this is something from which we can all find out. Until next time, value your voice and let it speak for you. Do not be afraid but confident in your ability to speak from your heart. Then, you will find the words needed to help another person along their life's journey.